Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard. It's the 25th of July, 2013, and we have pictures, but mostly not, from Fayetteville, Arkansas. This is common milkweed on the East Coast, on Long Island Sound, uh, at a place called, and you see it's been eaten, so there's a chance that monarch butterfly caterpillars ate off this plant. But I still haven't seen a monarch caterpillar, uh, and that's a uh, common milkweed. You see the tiny single flower there. Rest have been eaten. Other creatures eat it. I wish I could say it was all uh, monarch caterpillars. And this is swamp milkweed. The, you see how narrow the leaves are there. This is also right there on the coast. You can see river oats, which are also called sea oats. So where these are, the uh, it's sea oats. <laughs> this is a button bush, such as you see right here in Fayetteville, Arkansas, in ditches in places like World Peace Wetland Prairie and Pinnacle Wet Prairie. And they're growing out there on the east coast, way up north near the Connecticut border on Long Island Sound. And this is uh, ironweed. It also grows up there in that area. And it's starting to bloom, but there's more of it uh, as you approach Arkansas, coming back across the country. So you can see this is uh, some of the, the uh, information at this area. Notice coyotes have been seen in this park. This is in Westchester County, New York. And uh, what do you do if you see one? Stay on the trail. Uh, yell, wave your arms, act big, <laughs> frighten the coyotes. Great. Well, here's what Reed Sanctuary is about. It's named after a woman named, um, well, well, we'll go ahead, Edith G. Reed, R-E-A-D. And this is something that was created quite a few years ago there in the, on the coast at uh, Playland, next to Playland at uh, Rye, New York. And you see they've had this sign up for some years talking about uh, how, why, and how to have a cleaner planet. And it talks about how much more it costs to, to uh, process a ton of garbage than to process uh, using recycling, which is something that Fayetteville and other cities in Arkansas are getting to more and more. Buy only what you need. Well, Lauren made my picture out there at Edith Reed Sanctuary, and so uh, I uh, was wearing my Arkansas Stream Team shirt. In fact, I took three of those and wore them three different days up there just to let people know that Arkies can walk, talk, and, and so forth. Now we're moving from there down to uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania, which was just off the road we were driving. And Hershey, of course, is where you get your Hershey bars and such things. They also have a big uh, uh, chocolate world. <laughs> and uh, you can see a little bit of a, a big machine that spins people in the air over there on the right. They call, I don't know, whatever those are. But the thing I was interested in there was, the, in this case, uh, the milkweed plants. And I was looking, again, for monarchs. I think I saw two there lying in tandem, but they were so far away and they went over into the wooded area. So that's the only possible sighting I could guess. Now this is a non-native, it's also down here at Fayetteville, Arkansas, not just up on the coast or just up on in Pennsylvania. And that one has a nice yellow butterfly. And so I took pictures even though it's not a native plant. But, you know, they're well, that's a better picture of the, of the uh, common milkweed, Asclepius syriaca. There, those are past bloom, but there were no seed pods. I might have uh, brought home a seed pod, and you can see the amusement park in the background. So I was much more interested in the flowers and butterflies and things than in the, uh, in the amusement park, so I barely took pictures of it. But anyway, it's a place the whole family could enjoy, especially if you have a, a person interested in wildflowers. 
Till next time, this is Arbor Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep water clean, air pure, and the woods green. See ya. Well, here's uh, some more from my 1,500-mile uh, one-way trip uh, that uh, brought me from through Connecticut and, and uh, New York and so forth. This is in Rye, New York. This is an old stormwater uh, and construction industry chart uh, recommending all these things. Protect the natural features. Uh, protect vegetative buffers. Use silt fences properly. Um, stabilize the site. Don't uh, disrupt it all. Just all kinds of rules. And as I often do in Fayetteville, I went down to the plot planning department office and looked at a proposed new house uh, to be built on an existing lot requiring the removal of a house, which is going on here in Fayetteville, to build a bigger house, a more expensive house that uh, you've got to be probably three or four times, five times as rich to buy once it replaces the old house. It's just foolishness as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, Walters is a famous place to get hot dogs and moths and other treats in Rye, New York. So we got a few pictures there. Behind it was something with a New York historical license plate. You don't see those much, historical. We don't have that in Arkansas. Here it is. It's a it's a old, old fire engine. And gosh, I'm not even sure how that was propelled. You probably had to... Uh, uh, put uh, wood in there and create a steam or something. But you can see the back of Walters. Now, in one of the museums, talks about the horseshoe crab evolved 400 million years ago. And there's some coastal shots from that museum. I actually have photos of a shell of a deceased uh, such crab, big thing, but I didn't find it in time to, to use it with that sign. And this is talking about uh, the protection of a salt marsh. Our trails lead to the largest remaining salt marsh in the area. See, even the marshes are being destroyed. And of course, that means the, the uh, coastal protection from the big storms like they had in that area last year are diminishing. This is rhododendron. There were those, in, those were in several colors in in that area of the country and got a pretty good close up there to show you what the flowers look like. You can see those here, just like nearly all these other plants that we're looking at uh, are also in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And there's one of the tiny little things. I didn't try to figure out what its name was, but it just, that, and that grass is native and we have it in Fayetteville, Arkansas. But those are things growing wild in that yard. They're about to tear down the house and, and probably use fill dirt and do all kinds of horrible stuff. This is a, a good beetle. I'm not sure which name it is, but uh, didn't have time to look it up. Okay, this grass, you can also see it in Fayetteville, Arkansas, even though it was growing near the coast, in this case, I believe, or, well, in a ditch, I think, on the drive back. We went through so many states. This uh, Riley Museum, I stopped in the middle of the night. It was like one in the morning. Took pictures of this uh, Riley Museum. And um, we'll see Riley's, uh, uh, James Whitcomb Riley's birthplace, a poet who died in 1916. And he, uh, this is in Indiana, and he used the Hoosier dialect. And now we think of that as Hoosier country up there. This is a non-native plant. It's really beautiful, and uh, but it's growing in ditches with the milkweed and all these other things. And it's it's sad to say that it's a purple loose stripe. Now there are some um, loose stripe varieties in Arkansas that are native, and they're all over the United States. But this thing is really uh, going wild, and we hope not to see too much of it in Arkansas. I know you can find it. Farmers, we hope, are getting rid of it. You can see the, the ditch with water in it. That thing grows right in the water, and I saw acres and acres. There's Lauren Hawkins at the Reed Sanctuary, Edith Reed Sanctuary. And uh, this is a cloud. This is in Missouri, uh, just uh, 
night before last, and there was a big storm coming in, and, and uh, the clouds were really beautiful. Well, I didn't do a very good job selecting pictures. I didn't take enough time, but uh, I haven't had any sleep. And it's the go to bed after two in the morning and get up early and try to travel. It's it's not my favorite thing. And even worse was the airplane ride from XNA to to um, Westchester County Airport. Till next time, this is Arbor Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean the woods green, so forth, and don't mow until winter if you're trying to have native plants. See ya.